In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to properly cut, strip, and apply the proper listed fitting for Encore Wire's Type MC Smart Ground products. When cutting Type MC cable or Type AC cable, it's important to select the proper tool for the job. We recommend Rotosplit cutting tools. These tools are designed to cut through the metallic sheathing and not damage the interior conductors, and they're very simple to use. There are other methods to cut the outside metallic sheathing under controlled supervision, like with hacksaws or other rotary tools. We just happen to recommend this one because we've used it quite a bit, and it's a reliable cutting tool. Now, we've determined that we need about eight inches of open conductor. In other words, we need to remove the metallic sheathing to expose eight inches. So what you do is you select where you're going to start your cut in order to expose those conductors. In this case, we place it into the tool. Now this tool has a set screw that you would loosen, place the cable in, and then tighten down. And that holds the cable in place in order for you to be able to cut it. Now this tool also has a rotary cutting blade in here. Now this rotary cutting blade has a depth adjustment on this tool that allows you to cut just below the surface of the metallic sheathing. You don't want to cut any deeper as you could damage the interior conductors. Now you squeeze the product, as you'll see it has a bit of a spring uh, tension to it. You squeeze it to move that cutting blade down onto the metallic sheathing and then you rotate the wheel. When the tension disappears, you know that you've cut through the metallic sheathing. At that point, you'll loosen the set screw, pull the product, uh, the Type MC uh, smart ground product out of the device and you'll notice you have a cut here. You want to twist the metallic sheathing in a counterclockwise way and then slowly remove the metallic sheathing from the cable. At this point it exposes all the individual conductors that are within this cable. The next thing you're going to want to do is twist these conductors counterclockwise and that will peel off this paper. Now one unique thing about this paper is the reason these individual conductors are all individually wrapped is to allow that extra level of protection to these conductors during the installation process as well as in the cutting process. You've noticed in you inspecting it and you notice there's no cuts or anything to the paper so you haven't cut into the insulation of the individual conductors. The next thing you want to do is remove the paper. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. You could simply remove the paper and use the edge of the metallic sheathing and, and rip it off. Or you could pull it down, bend your conductors away, and you could use a diagonal cutter and you simply come in here and cut away the paper. Now once you cut away the paper, you'll notice that you'll have in this smart ground product, you'll have a black, a white, or if it was a 12-3 product, you might have a black, a white, and a red, but you also have this aluminum grounding slash bonding conductor. What do you do with this? No, you don't bend it back against the metallic sheathing because doing so changes the outer diameter of the cable and you could have a problem with your fitting or your connector properly terminating onto the cable. Now, you take this aluminum bonding grounding conductor and you bend it against the metallic sheathing approximately 120 degrees to 180 degrees and what that does is it creates this bend right at the top of your metallic sheathing. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your diagonal cutters again and you're going to go in and you're going to cut off right at the point where it starts to bend making sure that you don't leave any of this uh, aluminum grounding slash bonding conductor protruding past the outer perimeter of the cable that way we'll keep it from inhibiting the fitting from sliding down on the cable properly. You cut that off and you're done with that. The aluminum grounding and bonding conductor makes intimate contact with all of the convolutions through the entire length of the cable. In that way, it is now an effective ground fault current path and will serve as an equipment grounding conductor in this type of product. That leaves us with a black and a white, but there's one more step you need to do. Remember when you use that roto tool and you cut this metallic sheathing? It left a sharp point on the metallic sheathing. You want to bend the conductors away from that sharp point Take your diagonal cutters again and you want to go in and you want to cut off that sharp point. The reason you're doing that is you want to create a square surface so that connector will fit properly down onto the cable. Now, once you've done that and you've trimmed back the aluminum grounding slash bonding conductor, you've trimmed back the paper, 
Now you're ready to select the proper fitting or connector to complete this process. Now this product is unique because it is a type MC but it is a smart ground product and as we talked about that interior aluminum grounding slash bonding conductor makes intimate contact with all of the convolutions within this cable for the entire length of the cable. What it's doing is creating an effective ground fault current path in the metallic sheathing without the need for an interior insulated equipment grounding conductor. So this product serves as the effective ground fault current path as well as the equipment grounding conductor path which is serving a grounding and a bonding type function. Now we need to select the connector. Now since this product is unique, it's not like typical MC. We need a connector or fitting that is listed for use with this special product. The fitting that you're going to need to select is an MCI-A fitting. Now this fitting we're using today was supplied to us and it is actually a triple function fitting. What does that mean? Well this fitting is designed for use with type AC cable, type MC cable, and the more enhanced type MCI-A products like we have here in our Encore Type MC Smart Ground. Now, once you select the proper fitting, it'll say on the container or packaging that it's for use with an MCIA dash product. That's what we have here. Now, you've cut away the sharp points, you squared up the ends, you stripped away the paper, you bent back the aluminum grounding and bonding conductor, you've cut it off properly so that it doesn't protrude past the outside perimeter of this cable. Now you've selected a proper MCI-A fitting. You take the fitting and you slide it over the conductors down and it seats perfectly onto the metallic sheathing. That's why you cut that sharp point to create that nice square surface. Once you've done that, you now take a screwdriver and you're going to tighten down the screw, which is tightening this saddleback type fitting onto the actual cable. Now, there's a couple interesting things to talk about when it comes to fittings. You'll notice in this fitting it has an anti-short bushing in the end. Well, as you know, type MC products do not require an anti-short bushing. Now, if I was dealing with the type AC or armored cable product, then I would need an anti-short bushing in accordance with section 320.40 of the National Electrical Code. But since this is a type MC product, we would look at section 330.40 of the National Electrical Code, which deals with fittings and connectors. And you'll notice that it doesn't require any anti-short bushing on here. So this product happens to have it integrated into the connector and that's perfectly fine. Now, once you do that, you'll also notice that this has a saddleback design. Since the product we're dealing with here today is a smart ground and has an aluminum jacket, then you want to use a saddleback type fitting. You don't want to use a set screw type because if you tighten the set screws type, the screw will penetrate through the aluminum and potentially damage the interior conductors. Now, if this was a steel metallic sheathing, then that would be okay. But this is an aluminum, so you want to use an, a saddleback type connector so that when you tighten it down, the saddle actually presses against the metallic sheathing and pushes it against the fitting. That allows for even contact and achieve that MCI-A trait that's needed to create a complete system for that effective ground fault current path. Hopefully this video has explained how to trim, how to prep, and how to apply the fittings to your Encore Wire Smart Ground Type MC products. If you have any additional questions, feel free to visit our website at www.encorewire.com or send an email to us at codesandstandards at codes at encorewire.com.